those that those walls have been repaired. Right. This is the boiling room. Intense heat. Steam rising from the huge cauldrons. A foreman shouting to watch the last copper. This empty ruin has once was once the heart of Annaberg's sugar operation. Slaves and later paid workers ladled the cane juice from kettle to kettle, gradually concentrating and purifying the boiling liquid. They then pure, poured the juice into flat wooden pans where it cooled and crystallized into sugar. Timing was crucial. If the juice was removed too soon from the last kettle, it became molasses instead of sugar crystals. Right yeah. I'm over here. Out of breath, can't read. Wow. You see this? this is amazing. The cauldron. The cauldron. You know, being from the south, you would think we would have seen more mm -hmm. plantation things and things related to slavery, but a lot of times they destroy that stuff. Yeah, they destroy it, and um, a lot of the stuff was destroyed during the Civil War. Yeah. So. Some of most, some was purposely destroyed. Others, right. Like, what the, what's the name? Oh yeah, like seeing. Ooh. Seeing the stuff in its original state or close to original state is uh it's crazy. But that's what um Ooh. that's why I'm so intrigued by Because stuff like stood stuff in the United States. It's nowhere near as old. It's a, at the most it's three hundred years old, you know. 300 years old, uh -huh. and the only thing it represents is oppression and slavery. To where you go over there, that stuff is represents a know, legacy. 2000 BC, right? <laughs> and it's still standing. So that's where we would have came around from. Oh, you going over there? I was gonna see it. Yeah, go ahead. Let me know. This is crazy. I can't wait to show this to little Marcus. platform supported the factory rum steel here above a slow fire workers poured mashed or in local creole maubi a fermented mixture of water molasses and sugar rich waste products from the sugar making process into copper steel alcohol vapors traveled into the copper tubing from the steel to the sea stern behind it cistern um, there, the cools emerged in cool water, converted the vapors to rum. This is the room that we were in that uh, had the cauldrons, yeah. So don't expect to see any alligators around there. Good. Oh. And what y'all folks are looking at on the tree, that's a termite's nest. Okay, oh. I was what that was. Yeah, Disgusting. Termite's, termites uh, nest. You could see a small yes. one right over on the Oh, I see it. It's termite yeah. crap, basically. Yeah. Oh, there's one that fell on the ground. Oh. This is 
absolutely beautiful. All oh, that. It's gorgeous. Just finished up kicking it on was this Trunk Bay Beach? Yeah. Trunk Bay Beach in St. John. So we took a ferry from St. Thomas to St. John. Um, there's the ocean. So beautiful. We also been out here making a music video because <laughs> we're silly. Um, but now we're about to go catch a taxi back into like the where the dock is for St. John. Probably grab some to eat, something to drink, and then I don't know. Today is the anniversary day. I don't know. I gotta discuss it with Marcus, but this was pretty relaxing. But you don't need to because I look a mess. But we just had appetizers in front of this beautiful sunset. I don't know if you all can see it. But it's gorgeous. Regardless, you can tell how beautiful it is. It's the sunset with the um, ocean and the sand. Those are people. <laughs> We're getting ready to go to a, um, a West Indian restaurant. Sorry, I applied this without looking, so it might be all over. We're about to go to a West Indian restaurant to have our actual anniversary dinner before we catch the, a ferry back to St. Thomas. So St. John has been really good to us. I had the strongest rum punch in the world to the point where I was just like, you gotta add some juice to this because I cannot get through this drink. So yeah, we're about to go have some West Indian food and uh, enjoy ourselves. So yeah, uh, I'll uh, see if I can show y'all some of our food. I've been trying not to vlog as much so that we can have some just us time. So that I don't irritate my husband half to death. But uh, yeah, we've been, oh, the sun is going away behind the mountains. It's so beautiful, it's so beautiful. And it is uh, Levine's life that says, uh, Jerry specifically, that says, look at God's artwork. God's artwork is on this flag here in St. John. So we are currently on the boat that's going to take us from St. John, which is behind me, all those lights that you see. So pretty. To St. Thomas, all the lights you see behind me. All the lights. That's what I said. You notice he hasn't vlogged or barely talked to y'all. Because you're doing enough of it. Thanks he could have been. Thanks for filling the family in. Yeah. He could have. He could have picked up the camera, so I wouldn't have to. But that's not. That's not what he's. You do. It'd be nice if he would have picked up the camera. Did it. That's all right. So anyways, good night, you guys. The only thing we might, oh, that's what I was gonna tell y'all. We just went, if you all ever come to St. Thomas or the Virgin, I Virgin Island, go to St. John. And there's a really great, if you like West Indian food, there's a restaurant called The Coal Pot. That's not on the main strip, which is like this all behind me. It's a little, it's a probably five minutes walking from this main strip that's on the ocean. And it had really great Creole food. Marcus had oxtail, which she said basically stepped on Trump every single piece of uh, oxtail he's ever had before or, or Jamaican food that he's had. And I had their um, chicken roti, which is um, just uh, basically uh, curry chicken, but wrapped inside this like 
kind of a tortilla. It's like a skin. Like, it's hard for me to describe, but it was really delicious. So, come to St. John and also go to the Sugar Plain, Sugar Cane Plantation and um, go to the Trump Bay Beach. All right. There's only $7 ferry from here to St. Thomas and vice versa. We're going to go get some dessert and go to bed. Bye. Food in the back. Smelling food. Oh. Keeping an eye on He's yeah. like, just in case. Funkin. Hello. Go say hello. Go say hello. He's like, she didn't have food. Hi. Hi, Funkin. He's like, no, no, no. What's up, guys? So it is Friday, July 15th, the day after our anniversary. We are still in St. Thomas, so we got back from St. John. We're in like a um, gift shop. We wanted to get something for all of our parents since they're watching the kids, and especially Marcus's dad. His dad just had his 70th earlier this year in May. Oh no. I think it was in May. And um, he likes like kind of little novelty things, stuff that he can brag about. So we wanted to get him something nice from the Virgin Islands. So we got him a hat and a map of the Caribbean. We met somebody from Kentucky that works here. He's actually from Louisville, Kentucky. Um, but he's lived here. His name is Jimmy. Jimmy is an experienced um, sailor. He actually lives on his boat, which is dope. So, like, he actually really knows about this. He travels ocean. back and forth. Yeah. It takes from here to Florida. a month to get to Florida, nine weeks to get back on boat via sail. Yeah. Via sail. By myself. By himself. Nobody else with him. There's no way. I barely That's want to travel. To I end up in that uh, yeah, I barely want to travel from LA to not, not to right San Diego by myself. And he's traveling the ocean. Yeah. We also got um, Marcus a replacement wedding band because I think I told y'all on his birthday he lost his wedding band. He had a replacement. Well, he had one that he would wear to work, but he is starting not to like it. So we got him another just inexpensive replacement until we like replace it with a really really nice ring um, which hopefully I'll be able to do by the end of the year if I do an insurance uh, payment on so anyways we're gonna keep walking um, St. Thomas until we need to take another nap which is soon <laughs> okay I'm gonna have to delete some footage off of this memory card because we are getting ready to get a fish pedicure so you can see the fish in there oh yeah so first we have to get our feet cleaned and um, then we're going to have the fish cleaned its skin off of our feet Woo, for 30 minutes. I'm excited. This is so crazy. Yay! I'm gonna dump some more fish in this. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm recording yours. Oh, Go okay. ahead. So these fish are supposed to eat. I'll take all your pictures. Dead skin, in but there's there's some big ones down there. I, I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, you ready? Hey. Hey, I will kill one of them. Come on now. We ain't only got a couple of seconds. <laughs> Look at that tickles. Oh, hey. I don't know. All right, yeah, it doesn't hurt. Maybe it hurt. No, it doesn't. All right. You know something alive is chewing at your feet. It's really weird. Oh, hey, I got two feet. Okay, get the. Yeah, okay. it's just that Jump one. Over. Yeah, I think I stand on that one. More. Hey, transfer. Nope. They, they won't transfer. Then let them do what they do. Oh goodness. Oh. You can feel them chewing. Yeah. And it's a lot of them. Hey. Dude, there's, there's no dead skin there. I shouldn't feel you chewing because it's technically dead skin. I don't have nerves there. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no. Mm, I don't know about it. 30 minutes. Three minutes left. Ready? Alright. <laughs> I can't do it! I can't do it! I can't do it! I can't do it! You don't have as many fish! I don't even have any fish! You're on your right foot! I can't do it! I can't do it! I can't do it! I can't do it! She's not relaxed at all! I can't do it! You have three kids. Calm down. This is nothing. Oh my god! I can't do it. Oh God! We're gonna do this for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Why? Uh, oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, 
one of them has got a big piece of skin in the front of my foot. <laughs> he'll get, he'll, he's getting rid of it. <laughs> it's too much. She's bleeding, I'm just playing. No. <laughs> oh, ah, it's, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. get off my ankle, man. No. Alright. She's gonna be a better sport than we are. Oh, I'm sure. This, oh. <laughs> it's so weird. Oh, that was a double song. Yes. Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> No, it's it 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 nothing relaxing about this. No, stop. I should have gotten liquor. I should have. Yeah, we should be tipsy. Yes, we had quite a few earlier, but I need one to keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. How old are your kids? You have three kids. I have three kids. I have a six-year-old that's gonna go dead. I'm not dead. Oh, all right, guys. So the hubby's right there. He hasn't talked to you all much this trip. I've been busy. He's been spoiling busy. you. <laughs> He's been busy spoiling me, is that right? We have been having a really good relaxing time. We haven't done anything like major other than yesterday when we went to St. John and took a tour of the... Oh, these are horrible. We are yes, made fries. We got saturated them in salt. These are fries we made today. I grilled today. I, yes, uh, you did. I, Got the coals out, lit them on fire, <laughs> and uh, um, made the burger patties. Adorable. He was um, busy, so I said, I can do it. There's instructions on the side of the bag. I can cook this out. Uh, today we really relaxed. We went and had breakfast at this restaurant that we fell in love with because their chicken sandwiches were so huge for lunch. I'm about to put my beer in this. Oh, because you can't have water. Or they're dropping in a plastic bag like the locals do. There you go. Oh. Um, so now we're about to go on the main little strip and drink a lot. Because we're full. I had three turkey burgers. Y'all, I went in on my burgers. He had three as well. Three beef burgers. And were they not delicious? They were. Oh, my burgers are so good. So. Uh, we don't know if it's because we never cook burgers at the house and when we do it's not like the kind you patty it's like the frozen kind because it's usually for like 50 people mm. or if the meat was that good or if it was her fixing it but it was off the hook he thoroughly enjoyed it so i'm gonna do like she did with my chicken i said i ain't never fixing burgers again i would grill burgers more often but his grills are too complicated so I offered to get her a grill like the one that's out here. I said it'll have its own little canopy and everything. It'll be like us having five grills. Because he still has both double grills because I spoil him. I don't need no other grill. We fine. What y'all think about this bright pink I got on my lip? I think I wore this before. I think I actually wore this in a vlog and asked y'all what y'all thought. I don't remember the color. But I'll find out before the end of this vlog what the color is and tell you. It's again one of the colors I got from BeautyCon. Doing white. So anyways, we're about to deuce out, go to the strip, and have a good time. If I don't talk to y'all before the end of the night, I hope y'all having a great day. Mwah. Something bad.